Hey guys, this is Jean-Pierre from Snorkeling Beluga. Uh, today I'm just gonna share some of my thoughts on Overwatch's Halloween Terror event this year. TLDR, it's alright. Not as good as last year's. Just alright. I mean, if you missed last year's event then this one's pretty fun, but if you play last year's then it's pretty much exactly the same. These past couple of months I've been having computer issues and I haven't really been able to play Overwatch or record any videos for a couple of months. So I was super excited when I had it fixed just in time for the Halloween event and I couldn't wait to see what Blizzard had in store. And I'd like to just take a second to appreciate these skins because once again Blizzard did a top notch job with these skins. I mean look at Zarya right there. Or Zenyatta's orbs, ooh that's so nice and May looks adorable as always. And I saw in the trailer that the Junkus signed up the whole Eichenwald stage, which led me to believe that Junkus Science Revenge would span the whole map, kind of like how the Uprising event spanned the whole King's Row map. So I was super excited. But when I loaded up Junkus Science Revenge, I was really disappointed because it was exactly the same. No, I have to play these people. The exact same section, gated off bridge, same Zomnic types, same order of bosses, same everything. I guess that's not entirely fair. They did add Symmetra as a boss. She's cool. Like I said, I like her skin. Her uh, her lasers hurt like heck, and her shield generator is a pain in the ass on those Zomnics. So it adds a little bit of challenge. But after she first shows up, the novelty wears off really quick, and she just becomes annoying. But it did also add the new Endless mode, where you can go until the door falls. And for that one, it's cool because you can pick eight characters instead of the standard four. But again, after about one game, when you play the new lineup of characters, novelty kind of wears off. I feel Junkenstein's Revenge is enjoyable about two times tops. First is when you've experienced Symmetra for the first time, and she just laser melts your team with that stupid freaking laser that she doesn't even have to freaking aim it, does so much damage. Blizzard, why haven't you nerfed this freaking laser yet? And the shield generator on top of the Omnix. Oh my god, it's so annoying, but <clears throat> anyways, where was I? All oh, right. And uh, the second time is when you play Endless Mode, just to see how busted Torbjorn's turret is. Like, ugh, it's easy mode. But anything after that just kind of feels like grind for those loot boxes. And I'm not really down for the grind game. That's just me, though. I don't know. I guess I'm a little spoiled by Blizzard. I don't really expect much from other games' Halloween events, except maybe a map reskin. And that's really it. But with Overwatch, they went above and beyond with all their events this past year. Each brawl mode for every holiday felt new and unique in some way. And after seeing the Uprising event earlier this year, I thought that they were learning how to improve on their PvE events. But we got exactly the same thing as last year. Oh well. But hey, Junkenstein's optional, and you can still earn the loot boxes other ways. Overwatch is still fun for me, and that hasn't changed. I just kind of feel lukewarm about this entire Halloween event. I feel like there could have been more effort put into Junkenstein's return, but whatever. That's just my opinion. I'd love to hear your opinions in the comments down below though. How do you feel about this brawl? I really want to know. I don't think I'm the only one with this opinion. If you want to hear more opinions from me when they're fresh, follow us on Twitter. And if you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe for more snorkeling beluga content. I'll see y'all later.